the music industry is in mourning after the shocking death of Chris Cornell, the iconic rocker who fronted Soundgarden and Audio Slave. The Grammy winner died overnight at the age of 52, and there are reports he may have taken his own life. died last night in Detroit just hours after hitting the stage for a Soundgarden concert there. Some reports say his death is being treated as an apparent suicide and that he was found in his hotel room by a bandmate. A statement from his rep only revealed that Cornell's death was, quote, sudden and unexpected, saying the singer's wife and family were shocked by it and that they will be working with the medical examiner to find out what caused it. Cornell, a Seattle native, rose to fame as the lead singer of Soundgarden and was a founder of the 90s grunge music scene. Black They were the first grunge band to sign to a major label, paving the way for the likes of Nirvana and Pearl Jam. The band broke up in 1997. Cornell went on to form Audio Slave. And to forge a successful solo career before Soundgarden reunited in 2010. Among his other accomplishments are the Bond theme song, You Know My Name, from Casino Royale. And very recently, he wrote a song for the Christian Bale film, The Promise, which premiered right here at the Toronto International Film Festival. That's the beauty of a challenge like this and this, this type of relationship with the film, is that it'll draw something out as a songwriter that I'm not going to ever see again. Toronto loves you ever since Soundgarden. I love Toronto, right? yes. This is one of my favorite towns to play. Switching gears now in a big way, we're going to the south of France where the 70th annual Cannes Film Festival has officially kicked off. Hollywood and French acting royalty grace the glamorous red carpet. The Cannes Film Festival is on until May 28th when the prestigious Palme d'Or will be handed out. But the glamour won't be contained to the south of France this weekend because over in Berkshire, England, the wedding of the year will be taking place. Pippa Middleton, little sister to the Duchess of Cambridge, will tie the knot with multi-millionaire hedge fund manager James Matthews. And it's the closest thing we'll be getting to a royal wedding for 2017. Unless, of course, Prince Harry suddenly pops the question to Meghan Markle, who, by the way, was spotted arriving at London's Heathrow Airport on Tuesday. Now, whether or not she attends Pippa's wedding ceremony is a burning question for royal watchers. She's definitely expected to be Harry's date to the reception. So while this wedding might not technically be royal, it'll be watched almost as closely as if it was, as Pippa herself has been ever since her turn as a bridesmaid in the royal wedding back in 2011, when her charming manners and derriere landed her in the spotlight. It is going to be an extravaganza. We've seen lots of party preparation happening for the reception to accommodate, we think, 300 guests. And of course, all eyes are going to be on Princess Charlotte and Prince George. They are bridesmaid and page boy at Pippa's wedding. Oh, they're so cute. Get the full wedding scoop in this week's issue of Hello on newsstands and your texture app now.